Uh, hi, I'm Pradeep. I am co-founder of Parking Rhino. Uh, very warm good afternoon to all of you. Uh, so uh, I think you all know, right, uh, parking is a day-to-day -day pain for every traveler. Uh, and uh, as per IBM in Global Research Index, uh, people almost lost 20 minutes every day to find a nearby parking space. So, but why the parking management solution fits in both uh, consumer's perspective and, and also the B2B and the government's perspective. So we are making a global cloud-based artificial intelligence and machine learning smart parking platform, which not only can be used in Indian infrastructure context for developing countries, but also for the developed countries as well. Uh, this is how parking I know improves the quality of life. We are operational from last uh, two years, and we almost save this this many hours for to for the consumers part, and also because the, we save times, and also it translates to a lot of economic impact and the job creation as well. So what we are trying to create it here, we are create, trying to create a global platform which can be hardware agnostic and can be used at a very basic mobiles or an Android penetration uh, mo uh, means, uh, or Android app based solutions where people can use not people don't have to use a lot of infrastructure around it. A mobile app can be used to find parking solutions to do a parking management solutions for governments to track uh, all the real time activity do policies around it and even if I don't have a, a smartphone if I have a basic phone I can send an SMS and get it all the real time parking information around it. So this is the our cloud based IoT platform. Uh, where the IOTs is a middleware uh, which we have created and already patented from our name and then the, we can access any kind of hardware infrastructure be it all kind of sensors, NBIOT or LoRa based sensors or cameras or dis digital display signage or a lot of different APIs which can be integrated to our platform. And the, for on-street or off-street parking spaces, we give them both desktop and mobile app-based solution where people can do on-street parking management using a human meter or maybe an automated parking space information. And we also have a citizen app where uh, we are all one of the largest players in India for in terms of volume in citizen app where we have a presence of 15 cities having 3 million parking spaces in our database and showing bird eye view of all the real time parking uh, informations in all the cities. And all these data both from the B2B, B2Z and B2C solutions we consumed in our cloud based platform and we have a dashboard and real time analytics dashboard which can be very useful for enterprise companies and also governments to do a future policies because whatever we are making we are not making for two or three years we are making for rest five years or ten years so the information should be used as accurate and can be monetized as well in the future. Uh, these few of the uh, the, I have already mentioned this. The, these are B2C app where we have uh, presence and uh, the right hand side the parking locations involved. Uh, parking is a big business. People didn't know about it because uh, we found that it's a hundred billion market space as per the research and in India itself 64 lakhs parking spaces can be monetized which translated to 1,88,000 crore uh, means GMB for per year. And in our last two year journey, uh, we have uh, been recognized by a lot of uh, companies and also the governments. Uh, we have been selected in the 2016 in the, as a uh, Google Launchpad, where we have accelerated for six months as a top 16 startup from India. Uh, Karnataka government recognized as 100 innovative companies from the Karnataka. Uh, we have recognized by 10,000 startups, CIO Smart Cities, Web Summit, Tech in Asia. And we are a very strong, solid team of 15 members uh, with almost 12 years of industry experience. Uh, so this is what a basic solutions which you look like for on-street parking spaces. Parking real-time information can be sensed using sensors, but in Indian infrastructure context or a developing countries where we cannot put sensors all over the street, uh, we 
we give them a mobile app to each of the parking attendant where it can use the, or geofencing the parking location and also send the real time information to the consumer and also the display signage in each of the roads. And we also have integrated the sensors, both MBIT and LoRa sensors, uh, where it can sense the parking information, showcase the parking location. Uh, we also have a solution where we cannot put sensors. Even an IP camera can sense up to 300 parking spaces and give a real-time parking occupancy information using only a camera, where we do not have to put a lot of infrastructure around it. So this is a very useful solution in the terms of the smart city solutions in Indian uh, context. Uh, we have also integrated uh, recently launched FastTag. Governments are using FastTag for uh, for in the toll gates. We have used FastTag, which is nothing but a RFID tag, to sense. The, park, the, the in parking information or a track or a vehicle where exactly it is. And based on that, you can charge the, how many hour, hours you have actually stayed in that particular, uh, particular uh, parking spot. And I just wanted to skip this uh, and I will just come back. So all these things, the, all these things, the informations which we have gathered, not only for the booking, real-time availability, parking data, we have created a lot of open APIs where all the um, uh, enterprise companies or mobility ecosystem players can use our data and build infrastructure and build different apps around it. Uh, we have already tied up with HP and Steiner Electric for a few of the smart city uh, solutions. Uh, we are also, uh, Uber and Ola is also one of the, our clients to use their parking management solution. Uh, because it's an open API, we do not push uh, our app to use for the consumers. They can use our open API, integrate with their own app, and give them a same user experience to the consumer. So that's where the all Just Style, Tabjo, Zometo, all these big enterprise companies comes up. Because we cannot push people in their limited smart uh, mobile space to use our app. So open APIs can be very useful. Even uh, as I said earlier, you can use uh, SMS-based solution or just send an SMS. Uh, it will automatically recognize your latitude, longitude, or current coordinates and give you the real-time information of nearby parking spaces of that area. So that can be very useful for a basic uh, mobile holder who is actually driving a two-wheeler, not the four-wheeler. Uh, these are a few of the more open APIs or use cases uh, for, in, for uh, yeah, means the services like emergency services or the uh, municipal corporate services, they can use our API to, uh, means, uh, to use that in a lot of use cases for smart parking solution and traffic management. And uh, uh, we have also integrated with all the wallets in India, almost all the wallets and uh, the payment gateways, so that whatever the payment gateway, you, if you want to pay get cashless payment, you can use that solution. You don't have to you use uh, our own wallet or our own payment gateway. So few of the locations, we have already present in 60 locations in Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Chennai, and few of the locations are this, and uh, where, uh, on street, we can call up human meters. Uh, parking space can manage a parking space for you. And uh, even it can, be, it can be changed to a parking meter like US or Europe, where you don't have to put a human meters. You just have to uh, just tag the geotag of particular parking location numbers and it will give you, uh, you can book an online for that particular area. So that can be replaced. And uh, that's why the, all the use cases comes up. Whatever, based on your requirement, you can fit our solution in that. And uh, we have a lot of deep analytics and dashboarding around it, where you'll get a lot, lot more information, deep information around not only parking, what are the revenue uh, earning in the real time, what are the monetizations, and uh, uh, what are the traffic in and around, generate heat maps uh, with a particular area where in, in in future, if government wants to put a surge pricing and want to reduce traffic in a particular area, they can use our data and then uh, uh, and push that surge pricing on that particular area. So we fit into the actually the middle of those uh, 
all that uh, means, as he has uh, as just mentioned uh, in that uh, in, in the middle of all all that uh, startups or, or and that uh, big players so where the system integrators can use our solution as a backup for the parking domain uh, where because it's an we are hardware agnostic and a software agnostic it's a plug and play to their hardware and they can use our solution so we 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 have been in there in a lot of other use cases as well not in not only the parking management solutions we also have a enforcement app for the governments where they can find or enforce the people who is for a wrong parking space it's it's will automatically detect it send it real time let it log in information to the towing car get that car back and uh, do the online payment as for for the enforcement uh, we are into uh, restaurant or a hospital's valet management solutions where they can use our solution to optimize or table circling of that particular uh, of their uh, restaurants and uh, this is where we we we've, uh, the story so far we have been in 80 plus locations uh, 2 million parking tickets generated from our system still now uh, with which uh, 5 million worth parking means gmv uh, in, the, in our B2C, we have 12,000 downloads with 50,000 monthly active users with 3 million data in space in 15 cities. Uh, so we have been recognized as 20 smart cities by CIO, uh, smart city solution, promising smart city solutions by uh, uh, CIO review. And uh, thank you to everyone.